Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to kick off my brand new series of what's for dinner. I'm going to be trying to put these out about every two weeks and I'm going to be showing you guys Monday through Friday what we have for dinner. We don't really cook on the weekends. Most of the time we'll have leftovers or we'll eat out but I'll be showing you Monday through Friday what we have for dinner. You guys seem to really enjoy my meal plans and my grocery hauls but I've gotten tons of requests to show how I make some of these meals. So every two weeks I'm going to be putting these videos out. All right, starting with meal number one, I'm gonna make this one dish, sausage, cabbage, and potatoes. I kinda just made this up. I'm sure somebody out there has made it before, but I'm gonna start by drizzling a little bit of olive oil in my pan, and then I'm gonna chop up half of an onion and put that into the skillet. And then I'm going to take two packages of smoked sausage. You can use whatever brand you like. I'm going to use this Brian brand today. And I'm just going to chop them up. You can chop them up however you like. And then I'm going to dump that into the skillet with the onion and give it a good stir. And then I'm going to use red potatoes today because I like the way red potatoes cook. You can use russet or gold, whatever kind you prefer, but I just had these red potatoes that needed to be used and like I said, I like the way that they cook. So I'm going to put those in there. And then I went ahead and chopped up a whole head of cabbage and I just put that on top and put the lid on and let it steam for about 20 to 25 minutes and I just kept stirring it every so often. Like I said, it took about 20 to 25 minutes, and this is what it came out like. All right, on to meal number two. We're gonna make a crock pot lasagna. This one is super easy. I'm definitely gonna be making this again. I had a recipe I was gonna follow for this, but I ended up not following the recipe because they made their sauce homemade, and I ended up just using jarred sauce. But the only cooking that you have to do with this one is browning the sausage, and that is it. Everything else you're just layering in the crock pot. So to start off, I'm just browning up the sausage, and then I'll go ahead and pour in both jars of spaghetti sauce and get that mixed in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray my crock pot with some olive oil spray. And then I'm just gonna start layering the ingredients in there. I'm gonna start with the sauce first. So if you guys make this, try to spread your ricotta cheese a little bit more evenly than I did. It was kinda hard to spread and so I just gave up on it and I left it in clumps, but it was still okay. I just wish that it was a little bit more even on there. And then after you have everything layered, you're gonna set it on low for four hours. And then after four hours, I just took the remainder of the cheese and sprinkled it on top and sprinkled a little bit of parsley. And then I let it sit for about 10 more minutes so that cheese on top can melt. and this is what it came out like. I was planning to have salad with this, but we actually ran out of salad, but I had some cucumbers that we needed to eat, so that's what we had with it. And then next up, we're gonna make some shake and bake pork chops, and we had some green beans and some garlic potatoes on the side. To start off, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 400. And I'm just going to use these boneless pork chops that I got from Walmart. And then I also am going to be using this great value brand of Shake and Bake. And I'm just going to coat my pork chops really good and get those on the pan. And 
then I just popped them in the oven for about 20 minutes and on the side we're gonna have these garlic parsley potatoes they are microwavable and I found these at Walmart and I'm just gonna cook them according to the package directions and that was about five minutes in the microwave and then like I said on the side we're gonna have some green beans so I just opened up a can and heated those up as well and then after the potatoes were done I just drizzled some olive oil on there and then I took the packet seasoning that came with the potatoes and I sprinkled that on there and gave them a good stir And that is meal number three. Moving on to meal number four. This is my Italian chicken that I talk about a lot. It's where you just marinate some chicken and some Italian dressing. Today I'm going to be using the Olive Garden Italian dressing. And I'm going to take about 10 drumsticks and put those in a gallon Ziploc bag and just pour the entire bottle of dressing over them. And I'll let them sit in the refrigerator for a couple of hours to marinate. And then after a couple of hours, I'll take them out and go ahead and put them on a cookie sheet and pop those in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 350. And on this side, I'm going to do some roasted sweet potatoes. I had some sweet potatoes in the pantry that needed to be used up. So I'm going to go ahead and peel those and chop those up. After I had them chopped, I drizzled some olive oil on the top and sprinkled some salt and just gave them a good toss. And then I put those in the oven to roast with the chicken and it took about 20, 25 ish minutes. Green vegetable, we're going to be doing asparagus and I have this steamable bag that I found at Walmart and I'm just going to pop that in the microwave. Then once it was done heating through, I took some lemon pepper and I sprinkled it directly into the bag. We like lemon pepper on our asparagus, that's about the only way my family will eat it. So that's what we do and I just took my hands and kind of shook it around in there and that is meal number four and then on to the very last meal we like to have breakfast for dinner a lot this is a very inexpensive cheap meal especially if you're out of ideas so I'm gonna go ahead and set my oven to 350 and I always cook my bacon in the oven. I don't like to fry it on the stove because it pops and it terrifies me. So I just put it in the oven and I'm using the Great Value Original Cut Bacon. So I went ahead and I put it on a cookie sheet and then I'll just put it in the oven and let it cook until it crisp up. But while I'm waiting on it, I will go ahead and start on the eggs. My kids like their eggs scrambled, so I'll go ahead and cook those first and plate those up. And mind you, when I'm making breakfast for dinner, I don't like to have leftovers. To me, breakfast for dinner is not one of those things that you can have as leftovers. It just doesn't taste right to me. So I cook just enough for us to have for dinner. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start on mine and my husband's eggs. He likes his over hard and I like mine over easy. So I just go ahead and pop them all in the pan at once and I'll just take mine out before I take his. And we're also gonna be having grits tonight. So I'm using my kettle to heat some water. And while I'm waiting on the water to boil, I'll go ahead and pop the toast into the toaster. And I'm just using instant grits, so I'm going to pour those into a bowl. And then I'll just take and pour the water over them until I get them the right consistency. And that's about how we like ours. This doesn't look like a whole lot of grits, but... Like I said, I didn't want any leftovers and it ended up being just enough. The good thing about instant grits is that you can quickly make more if you need to. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and butter and jelly everybody's toast.
And then once the bacon came out of the oven, I just took a paper towel and set it on a plate and put the bacon on there so that all of that excess fat could drain off. And there you have it. There is our breakfast for dinner. My butter didn't exactly melt on my toast, but it's because I had a toddler catastrophe when the toaster popped. So I didn't get to butter my toast right away, but that's okay. It still tasted okay. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.